Hello you guys, what is going on? Welcome to an episode of DEFCON. Everybody dies. Huh, well this is basically a game about everybody dying. Yeah. You're a country, you're a, no, you're a super, you're a collection of countries, except for Russia. And you try to destroy your enemies while keeping yourself alive. And I will show you this now. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna be Europe because. Well, what color do we wanna be? Let's be. Bl bl blue. Yeah. So it'll be Europa. My allies will be. The United States and South America. Br Africa will be independent. And Russia and Asia will be against us. Um, their game modes. Default is normal. Kill your opponent's cities. Office mode is plays at the slowest speed. Game lasts seven hours at least. And yeah, speed is it goes full speed and there's no pausing. Diplomacy is everybody starts on the same team or in the same alliance and. Do you see how long the alliance lasts? Big world is the world is double in size. You get double the amount of units, but the units have half the efficiency. Like half the range, half the ammo, half blah blah blah. Tournament is basically normal without um, like the spectators being able to talk. And I haven't done custom because it doesn't have any description. Anyway. There's default, which is the normal, you know, you lose one point for every million you fail to protect, and you gain a point for every... Or you gave two points for every million that you destroy. Uh, genocide is you don't lose points at all, and you can only gain points. And whoever is the most then wins. And survivor is... Um, you can't get points, you can only lose points. So you have to try and really protect your people. I just play default usually. But that looks good to me. So let's start this game. Four, three, two, one. I would jump cut, but the loading time is so fast. It's awesome. Anyway, let's slow this down because we don't want to be going at five times real time speeds here. Yet. So let's put radars. Radars are like, you know, radar. You can see further with the radar. And uh, since Africa's in a different team here, I'm gonna put right there, right at the by Morocco. It's a good spot. Put one up there. That's the top of UK. Let's just put one there too. So then you can hover over radar, see where your radar visioniness is. You can hover over, you can turn comms on and it tells, comms on, and it tells you what happens and such stuff. And you can look at your allies and cease fire and stuff. Cease fire is you don't attack them, but they'll still probably end up attacking you, so there's no point for it unless you're allied. And, uh, you can see people, the population of the areas. Like, as you can see, the U.S. is populated in, like, the east coast and on the very west coast like SF and LA and Europe is pretty much evenly spread out and Africa has these centers Russia is incredibly populated on the European area and like almost none in the this area in the what's it called area I forget and then China and Japan is like super megaly overpopulated except for central and western China and India is really populated. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, we can see the orders, which I will show you in a minute. The territory for the alliances, and I'm wasted too much time doing this, so let's move on. All right, these silos work as anti-missile thingies that can destroy uh, destroy nukes as they're coming in, and they can also fire nukes, but they take a long time to change modes, so you can't just swap it back to defense when you see a nuke you'll be screwed because it takes like 150 seconds to change back anyway let's put a silo there a silo there a 
silo there, silo there. And we need a silo by London. And let's just put a silo there. Alright, hopefully that's good enough. Europe is pretty much the easiest place to protect. Which is why I chose it, because I don't want to look like I suck on the internet. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, these, um, air ba bases can fire fighters, which go super far, take down enemy planes, and can, like, scout. And they can fire bombers, which can go into enemy territory and drop one nuke on a city. That they'll probably get shot down before they get there. Let's put two there. And then the fleets. But submarines, which is, this is my strat strategy, is... Um, because the subs, they can fire, uh, nuclear missiles, 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 and, uh, then just blow shit up. But they, if the enemy's silos are on defense like this, and you can't change it till DEFCON 1 to shoot nukes, you can't do any nuclear attacky stuff before DEFCON 1. DEFCON 3 is when you can do combat. Those are the two real important DEFCONs. Now since Africa is not on our team, I think we'll put a fleet there. And a fleet there. Hopefully my ally can help me uh, fight. The South America will take most of the blunt of Africa. Africa's might. But who knows. Whoops. Then we'll put two up here. Just to like... Come on, place. And then we'll put another fleet up here somewhere. Come on, place, place. There. Now that's just a clusterfuck of fleets, but if I speed up time, you can see orders too. There, that that's all the orders does. <laughs> Nukes uh, highlights your units that have nuclear capabilities and whiteboard is basically you can like circle the main cities that you need to kill and uh the your allies also circle cities too like that circle there and uh that's about it uh, that's what i'm assuming i mean that happens when you turn whiteboard on and if you turn it off then you can't see your allies so i'm assuming that my ally circled that city but yeah, anyway, let's turn the whiteboard off. So we don't need we don't need that on right now. And uh, let's just time warp here to DEFCON 4. There's DEFCON 4, and you can see the fleets move significantly faster on super mega speed because that's 20 times real time. One second is 20 seconds. So yeah, it's like a minute and a couple seconds. Let's see. DEFCON 3, now there should be combat, yep. I like this, I like times 10 the best, honestly. Because it's easier to manage. Times 15 is like, oh my god, what's happening every third time? It's 20. It's just kind of rape, like you can't do shit. Yeah, and your uh, air defense silo things can shoot off the coast. And just, hopefully they don't have, uh really fleets uh, that'd be bad let's launch a scout fighter into their territory and watch it crash and explode probably yep just like that those things oh no they don't keep going okay defcon 2 Ooh, it's going down no defcon 1 nothing will happen for a little while and then you'll see some nuclear launches off the coast and then a minute later like all the countries will just light up like nuclear launch detected ah so yeah cairo and moscow and leningrad are my three cities i want destroyed and they will be destroyed at my hand or by my hand more or should i say Get out of here, fighter. Yeah, that's what I thought. You too, you stupid fighters. Go away. This is my territory. No 
Russian or African or Asians will be allowed in Europe if they're if they're if they're planes and DEFCON 1 missiles ah nothing's gonna happen for a couple seconds nothing will happen and then everything will go to shit instantly see I'll just zoom out and we can watch the launches that was Asia's sub launching so that's probably gonna be a hit on uh, Africa I don't know why they would launch from subs over there and go for someone up here yeah see Africa's being raped right now the US tends to get fucked up pretty bad too oh they're fucking barraging missiles let's hope that uh that we are okay over here some reason my carriers are launching their planes from that far oh yep now you can see cities hit and it shows how many died from that hit 1.2 million I really want to bomb Moscow but as long as those two defenses are there not gonna happen Let's turn comms off. Yeah, Africa's being messed up. So is the West Coast. That always gets messed up pretty bad. Shut up, doggies. Uh, I apologize for the doggies. Yep, San Francisco hit. And then all these are being raped except Cairo. Cairo's not hit yet. The cities that tend to get hit in Europe are London and uh, Warsaw. Oh uh, shit, is it going down? Not yet. Hmm. At least Player One's launching some nukes now, though. Is that U.S.? Oh, what? Why? Why down here? Whatever. Oh wow, they're launching uh, quite a few nukes at once. Anti-submarine mode. I should probably set some of my carriers to that, honestly. God, Africa's getting messed up by the U.S. I am still untouched, and so is Russia and Asia. And South America. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's see if we can get a, a bomber to hit Moscow. And then let's try one for Leningrad. I wish they kept this call city called Stalingrad, really. Oh, oh, it's going down. Now it's going down. There's one of my fighters, or my bombers. I wonder if he can reach it without uh, having his, himself shot down. Up oh, now South America is launching some missiles. Juan, fire the nuke. The nukes have been fired. Oh, come on. Don't hit it. Don't hit it. Shit. Yep, that's what happens. Fire the lasers. Phew. Now get the hell out of there and land at that airbase. Oh! Oh, I got Leningrad! Russia has been officially hit. That is awesome. Now they'll probably retaliate and launch a shitload of missiles. At me. Oh, what? Why is Russia? Why is Russia attacking the US? Not even going for me. Oh no, they're attacking Mexico. Oh, Mexico City. Oh, no. Oh, Mexico City. Oh, that's bad. How the U.S. is retaliating. I'm still sitting here doing nothing like usual. Get all these nukes just everywhere. I want these to change from air defense to silo so I can shoot my submarines that have been so patiently waiting 
Actually, I might be able to anyway. Oh, Leningrad was hit again. Don't let Moscow get... Don't let Moscow... Moscow or Moscow? Moscow. Yeah, Moscow. Don't hit Moscow. Oh, you sons of bitches. Oh, now they're launching from their silos. Okay, let's slow speed down. Launch off a shitload of missiles from my subs all at once. As a form of retaliation from launching your silos. Instant retaliation, death to everyone. Uh, you're not launching anything yet. Hit Volvograd. Volvograd? Pretty sure that's not what it's called. Fire all the lasers. You're not firing. Is anybody not shooting? They all are shooting. Okay, now watch the death and destruction come from these submarines. Ah, oh, They can't stop it. <laughs> ah, rain death on the country. Oh, Russia's getting fucked up. Is that my city? Oh, I am just. Oh, I am no mercying this place. Oh no. Shoot the nukes down. Oh, Rush. Oh, Cairo got messed up. Oh, wow. Get all these nukes the subs are launching, though. The next wave of nukes has arrived. How is player four not in the negative? I mean, like, look, all his cities besides these ones with, like, no population have been, like, completely destroyed. In Moscow, went from 27 million to 0 0.2 million. 200,000. Like, oh no, shoot that, okay. It's always like scary when you see the bullets just like circling the nuke. It's like, no, hit it, no, 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 no. And then it hits it and you get super relieved. But yeah, see, it's really kind of hard to lose if you're, if you're a uh, Europe. So small, as you can imagine, Asia and, and Russia and the US is a little bit harder in South America. South America is really hard to defend all your points, so is uh, Africa. The U.S. is pretty difficult to defend all, both the coasts well. <gasps> no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Shoot them down quickly! Oh no! This is going bad! Hurry! Stop them! Stop them! No! 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 Shoot it! No! Oh no! Oh, this is starting to go bad. They are hitting my cities! <laughs> No, no, focus on no. Oh, that was almost, that almost hit London. That would have been bad. Shoot that down. No, oh, okay. Stop hitting my places. Time for retaliation phase two. Bomber launch. Oh. Is that all my air bases that aren't destroyed now? 
I believe so. We can use these carriers too to launch bombers. There's one. Let's hit Leningrad again. Did I hit uh, Iran? I did. Oh, they have nobody left in that city. Let's hit it again. Now let's hit those two. I'm assuming that's everybody. Now let's see my bombers fly. Shoot that down. Oh no, that was loud. We get all these bombers. Ah! Bring your happiness and presence. No, no, no. Oh no, 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 no. Thank God, that was so close to London. I'm just really paranoid about London getting hit. I am doing decently. Victory timer started. That means that victory is in the bag look at all these planes coming in uh russia you have messed with the wrong people indeed fire the lasers come on fire your payloads fire your happiness and presence of joy oh these planes these bombers they can't handle it boosh silo destroyed what I like to see another city babushk all oh, these missiles they are everywhere they're so screwed uh, where are you going for nobody left in that city after this hit I doubt some people are left what how No, 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 miss, miss, miss. Good job, good job, missing. You just let a city be destroyed. Now there's goes the silo. Trying to retaliate, eh? Let's slow down time. Let's bomb some uh, Africa. Just because we can, basically. Should I bomb Africa? I think I should. Because it'll look cool at the end of the video. Yeah, bombers get a uh, ten missiles. Huh? Let's launch a few down there. Time to destroy Africa. Oh, wait, there's some more. The Africa corpse will be smashed. Alright. Now fire the lasers. Raw, there goes my missiles. Super speed this. Oh my goodness, look at all those missiles. Death will be brought to Africa. Rah! Oh, look at all this death. Get all these presents and happiness brought. From your good friend Europe. Oh, and the bombers are coming. Launch some more bombers just because we can. Ha! 
Yay, happiness. Happiness will be spread throughout Africa. Oh shit, okay. Happiness! Yay! And with that attack, basically every city in Africa has been wiped out, and the game ends here. Victory to player two, aww. How the hell did... Uh, he didn't even barely get hit. Oh, he did get hit pretty bad. He must have messed up some other country pretty harshly then. Africa got got messed up. Like, Africa was... Well, that was bad for Africa. Africa got really messed up at the end there. So did Russia. Russia got fucked up pretty badly. I mean, that one of their biggest cities left in the whole country has one million people in it. If you can, you can see here, um, every country starts with a hundred million people in it, and Africa ended with five million people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's bad. I ended with 85 million people. Um, Africa and, er, Russia ended with 16 million people. Asia ended with 23 million people. Um, was the U.S. player one? They were. They ended with 54 million people, so they lost almost half the people in the whole country, and they got second place. So they must have done a, a ton of damage. Player two did fantastically, though. I mean, they killed uh 97 million people, and they lost 26 million people. I mean, Africa killed 2 million people and lost 94 million people. I mean, that's that's bad. Anyway, that's that's basically DEFCON right there. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's only 10 bucks on Steam, and it's by an uh, independent company. They also made a... Pr blah, 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 blah. What's it? Oh, God, how did I forget the name? Prison Simulator... Pri no, not Simulator. Prison... Uh... Prison Architect, okay. <laughs> prison Architect. They made Prison Architect and a couple other games. This game is $10. You can get it in a bundle with all their other games except Prison Architect for 20 and the soundtracks. So, yep, yeah, that's DEFCON. It's a pretty simple, pretty fun, awesome game. It's only 10 bucks. I would suggest you get it, but it's even better if you have other people to play it with. Because it is online multiplayer, and it's LAN multiplayer, which means you can use Hamachi also, so that's pretty awesome. But, uh, yeah, alright, that's DEFCON. Thank you guys for watching, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!